Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipsticks. They've not been out for that long and they only came out in the UK about a week and a half ago which is when I got them. I bought them when they literally first dropped on Urban Decay's website and thank you to my Snapchat family who are always there for me to send me codes that I'm not even aware of. So I was actually able to get money off so whereas they're retailing at £15.50 I actually got them actually got them for £13.95 so Snapchat family where would I be without you guys so I picked up five of them and I have worn every single one and if you don't follow me on Snapchat you obviously wouldn't know what my thoughts were because I was giving reviews every single day as to what my th thoughts were on every single lipstick because I like to do that on Snapchat because it's kind of in real time, real life sort of thing uh, until I obviously get a chance to do a video like I'm doing now. So as I said I picked up five of them and they just come in a box like this which is like the standard Vice collection kind of box because Urban Decay have got their Vice normal lipsticks range so it's in the standard box like this which is a really nice box nice and colourful showing all the different types of colours there are and it says on their waterproof long lasting liquid lipstick and it is a 5.3 mils which is 0.17 fluid ounces which is not too shabby and this is what the actual packaging itself looks like it comes in a nice sleek tube exactly like how the actual Urban Decay Vice lipsticks are except you can actually see the colour in here which is true to life as it will show up on your lips nice heavy duty packaging Urban Decay is always really good when it comes to packaging what are my thoughts now I'm sure you are obviously that's why you're here today um well what can I say firstly uh what's wrong with my top Urban Decay to me always seems to wait before they release certain things which are like on trend and obviously liquid lipsticks have been around for about a year and a half coming up to two years now and they are the preferred option of lipsticks for most people in the beauty community obviously if I was to like ask my mum what a liquid lipstick was she'd just stare at me she just wears normal lipsticks but everybody in the makeup community or those that like to wear makeup on a regular basis can keep up to date with their brands and new things that are coming out will know that liquid lipsticks have been around for a very long time they're long wearing they're long lasting they're matte they don't come off they don't rub off they stay on the lips for a really really long time and all the other brands have been there, done that, let theirs out. And I thought Urban Decay are taking really long to release their version. Is it because they are waiting for every single other brand to come out with theirs so that they can check them out, see what the ingredients are and come out with a better version or they're just being slow? Now, now that I've got them, I can say it was just them being slow. I am quite disappointed with these actually. I had such high expectations for Urban Decay. I would overall give these probably a 6 out of 10. They are so drying that when I first apply it, within like 5 minutes, the dryingness starts to make itself obvious. With other liquid lipsticks, some of them, they can get dry and quite uncomfortable, but after a couple of hours, after you've had them on all day, Urban Decay's ones is pretty much within like, it's ASAP, and it's just like, what? Like really, £15.50, Urban Decay to me is not a cheap brand by any means, not a high end, but it's not cheap drugstore either, it is expensive. This whole order cost me nearly, well it cost me a lot of money. Now let me just see what they've written on here, it says get ready for your newest vice, this waterproof long lasting formula lays down intensely pigmented comfortable colour with insane wear in everything from comfort matte to metallized finishes. I didn't get any of the metallic ones because all the reviews that I'd seen and the images I'd seen online, every single review that I'd ever read was just terrible. And it says, tips, line lips, then apply one coat to fill. Do not press lips together. If desired, opacity is achieved, let dry. For more coverage, apply a second coat. Let co dry completely and you're good to go. So they're saying don't press your lips together. One coat should be enough, but if it's not, put on another coat. Um, I found that all of these did not give me a clean coat at all in the first instance I had to go in with a second layer and that was it it was uncomfortable straight away it started to dry on my lips make them look really squished together if you guys remember when Colourpop first came out with their ultra matte lips they were really really liquidy and very very drying dried very quickly these dry super fast and you're still applying it and they're drying and they're already starting to snag and catch and they just feel really uncomfortable. They, my lips 
feel like I'm dehydrated. That's the only way that I can describe it. Color, the colors that I got are really nice. I mean, I did do, there is a very large range of these shades. I think there's about 20 shades, maybe less or something like that. There's a very large range. A lot of these shades are also um, the same as the normal Vice lipstick. So this one I'm holding is called Menace and I have the normal Vice lipstick version, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I also went with some shades which I already had the normal lipstick version of because I like the color. And I do have to say the colors are the same. It's just a completely, obviously a different formula. Now the formula itself is like a moussey kind of texture. It's not too runny. It's easy to move around on the lips, but because it starts to dry quite quickly, you have to move quite fast. And because I don't feel that I get a full opaque layer, I have to go over it again and it's already dry and then I'm starting to get patches on my lips. So that's all I can say really. Just generally, I'm not that impressed. I personally would not recommend these 15 pounds 50 gone by a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. Hers are so much better, so much more full coverage they last longer they're more comfortable these ones that i've got are just really not comfortable at all and for those of you that are wondering i am wearing barry m's matte me up liquid lipstick this is what the applicator looks like it's at an angle so it makes it easy to apply and it's a flat doe foot applicator it means you can line the tops and bottoms of your lips and then fill them in so the applicator is pretty good it really seem to have a smell though like i've tried I don't have a cold right now. It's got a very faint chemical smell, but it's so faint. Finally don't have a cold. So this is the shade 1993. It's a lovely warm brown shade. So this is 1993. So it's got, a, as you can see, it's starting to dry now. It looks kind of glossy. It's got a moussey kind of texture, but the way that it ap applies reminds me of like acrylic glosses in that it's, you, even though it says don't press your lips together, you can, because it's still, it's not completely dry yet. So it's not like there's going to be a transfer from top to bottom. So in that respect, I kind of ignore that bit because that only makes sense if the colour is going to transfer from the top to the bottom and make it look uneven. So I had to go over it twice in case you didn't notice because I could still see my natural lip line through it. And it's starting to dry. And I also find that they are very sticky. It's starting to dry now. Very sticky and at the same time incredibly drying and uncomfortable feeling. This shade itself is lovely. It's a beautiful everyday wearable kind of shade that you can wear to work. And because it is on the right side of nude, it also doesn't settle within the lines of your lips. I do have to say that I don't find that these settle within the lines of my lips at all. None of them. But then to be fair, I didn't buy any very pale shades. I bought quite dark, deep shades. And this shade is called Firebird. I think I had this when it came out with the Gwen Stefani collection, as in the normal lipstick. It's a gorgeous purple magenta with almost like a duochrome shade to it. So this is Firebird. I had to apply two layers again because I could still see my lip line and I can feel the drying. It's making my lips feel like this. It's like that. Oh, what an attractive noise. So this is the shade Back Talk. It's a lovely mauvey nude pink. And I actually have the normal lipstick version of this. And I have to say that this shade is one of my favorite shades that I've got, as in the lipstick one. And that is the main reason I actually bought this one because I was like, oh, okay, so the shade's the same. But I have to say that the shade, while it is exactly the same, this one was probably the most disappointing one because it started to fade so quickly as well. Whereas all of these, yes, they do last upwards of eight hours, even though by the time it gets to hour four, it just looks dreadful. This one had pretty much completely faded to nothing. It's like there was hardly anything there. Obviously, my natural lip color, as you can see, is pink. 
so I could just see my natural lip color. I was like, where's the lipstick gone? It was gone. So this is back talk. Look at it. You guys will see yourself. You'll be like, wow, that's such a pretty colour. That's about it. Sad. And did you see how much I had to keep smoothing it out? Because the product moves around and I can see my lips underneath and it's just like, and it just feels uncomfortable already. This is the shade Menace. It's a bright hot pink. So this is Menace, not much to say, they're all the same quality, <laughs> I'm going to be silent now. So it's a gorgeous hot pink, just like the normal lipstick version, except the quality is just not as good as the normal liquid version, uh, the normal lipstick version. And this one is called Crimson and it's a bright, hot, beautiful red. So this is crimson this color is just stunning i love the color it's such a shame that it's such a poor performing lipstick and this is actually the first one that i wore and because of the color i mean look at it uh, when i received all five of them this was the first one that i tried and i was so disappointed with it i mean it's already dry i haven't paused it or stopped the video or anything in between it's completely dry and give it a little while and it will start to feel incredibly uncomfortable and if you've got any dryness on your lips it definitely accentuates that i haven't got any dryness right now but my lips are quite sore just because i've obviously been swatching quite a few liquid lipsticks so that's it really so i hope you guys enjoy this review like comment subscribe let me know what your thoughts are because i know obviously this came out in the us before it came out in the uk so some of you guys may have already purchased them what are your thoughts is it just these shades is it all of the shades is it just not worth getting anymore i probably won't unfortunately so as I always do, these are my honest opinions. Urban Decay didn't send me any of these. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.